Hi, I'm Vicky of Vicky Wise Creations. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm going to update my oak sideboard. I'm going to use fusion mineral paint. I've got some twilight geranium, which is a beautiful shade. It's a soft purple colour. And I've got some grey that I'm going to use underneath uh, along the edges for a little bit of a shabby chic effect. Prep your sideboard by thoroughly cleaning it, removing the handles and filling in the holes. I'm going to use a lovely grey around the edges. So I want to make this a bit of a shabby chic sideboard. I want to sand back to reveal um, a little bit of grey underneath. So that's my grey. This is Little Lamb. Now I'm just going to paint where the furniture would naturally get a bit of wear and tear over time. So the edges are often what gets knocked on furniture and damaged. I'm just going to paint these and with my drawers on the sides. See how nicely that paint goes on. for my sideboard is I'm going to add some wax. I've got a bar of wax again, and I'm going to rub it along sections where I might want to sand back to show the grey or the wood beneath the purple. I'm just going to rub it along. This is going to act as a resist.
just make peeling back the fusion mineral paint so much easier. Now I've left my grey paint um, on for, let's see, two, three hours before I'm doing this, but ideally I'd leave it a bit longer just to seal it up a bit more, well, let it dry a bit more. Is a resist technique. So when I come to sand that back on these areas I've just rubbed with the wax it'll be much easier to remove the paint. So now it's time for the purple paint. Exciting. Fusion paint goes on super smoothly, it's a very nice paint to work with. Because it's a dark colour, I might get away just the one coat.
the paint about half an hour ago to an hour ago. I just think that I've got a, a sandpaper pad. It's a bit moist. I'm just going to rub along where I waxed. And as you can see, that's knocking back really evenly. Give it that worn look. And you just need to wipe it with a damp cloth to see what the result is. It's made a difference there, it's begun to show the grey I'll put on underneath. I'm going to do that all the way along the sideboard just to break up this geranium. I do love the purple, but I think it's really nice to go a bit of colour underneath too. So I've marked across to the middle and then two inches down from the top. I've got a little pencil mark. I've got my drill piece. I'm going to drill my hole for a new handle. There we go. This is my handle. I'm going to fold it in half. I had to swap the screw because of the depth of my drawer front. 